from the runaway success of Australian Ninja Warrior and the surprising hit True Stories with Hamish and Andy, Australian television viewers had plenty of new fare to choose from in 2017. However, for every Hell's Kitchen or Hoja's, there were plenty of shows, promised this year by the networks, didn't manage to see the light of day. The unauthorised telemovie of one of Australia's most flamboyant sportsmen was announced, with much fanfare, at Channel 7's 2016 Upfront event and was hoped to be one of the network's flagship shows for the year. However, the project was eventually dropped altogether by Seven as it was alleged the production had failed to cast a lead. In a statement to News Corporation, a spokesperson said the project had been dropped as it wasn't the right fit for our production and programming schedule. Shane had previously spoken out against Channel 7's plans to make a telemovie about his life, telling Triple M in 2016 he was a little bit disappointed. Put me on the record, it's got absolutely nothing to do with me, Shane said. Accidental Heroes Following on from the monumental success of Sophie Monk's turn on the 2017 series of The Bachelor, in which she found love with pub heir Stu Londy, Channel 9 would have hoped that Accidental Heroes could have capitalised on that success. Essentially a clip show, Accidental Heroes was to see Sophie joined by Nick Cody, presenting an array of the greatest fails ever to be caught on camera, in the same vein of MTV's ridiculousness with Rob Dyrdek. However, it appears that the show has been scuttled with Sophie recently announcing she will host the anticipated series Love Island. Underbelly Files, Chopper Another biopic that failed to see the light of day in 2017 was the tale of infamous gangland figure Mark Chopper read in Underbelly Files, Chopper. Announced in November 2016, the anticipated drama drew much interest largely for Aaron Jeffries looking almost unrecognisable as the airless criminal, despite the role having already been played, with aplomb, by Eric Bana in the 2000 feature film. While Channel 9 anticipated a 2017 airing, production on the series began midway though the year, pushing its air date back to 2018. Built as an interview program in the vein of Inside the Actors Studio, The A-List was to be an eight-part series hosted by entertainment guru Richard Wilkins that was to feature in-depth chats with in-demand superstars. However, the show fell off the radar this year and Channel 9 has no plans to air it next year. Speaking to the Daily Telegraph recently, a spokesperson said the show was cabled after an issue with obtaining music rights. The issue with it is around music clearance and rights which is taking longer than we had hoped. The show is completed but we can. T put it to air until the clearances are done.
Olivia, hopelessly devoted to you yet another biopic that fell by the wayside in 2017 was hopelessly devoted to you, a retelling of the life of iconic Australian singer Olivia Newton-John. Announced by Seven in November 2016, the series generated much anticipation largely due to the fact that Olivia was to be played by fellow lauded songstress Delta Goodrum. While fans of the Grease superstar may have felt shortchanged that the series did not premiere this year, it is slated to be one of Seven's flagship shows in the 2018 lineup. Russell Coit's All Aussie Adventures Glenn Robbins' satirical take on Australian adventure travelogue shows, such as the Leyland Brothers, The Bush Tucker Man and various Steve Irwin programs, proved a ratings hit when it aired for two seasons in 2001 and 2002. After 15 years out of the spotlight, and announced in November 2016 that they would be giving Russell another chance to shine this year. Fans of Glenn's laconic sense of humor need not be too disheartened though, as the Herald Sun reported in August that filming would continue until the end of the year with a 2018 premiere slated for early 2018. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment your opinion, share this video and subscribe to my channel. New videos are uploaded every day.